What's good Zenny Bees? It's your fave back with another banging video. If you're a newbie, welcome to our beautiful family. If you're a returning subscriber, welcome, welcome back B. So guys, I know, I know, I know I've been gone for the longest time. I literally have been gone for so long and I know it's been frustrating. You guys have been asking me, sending me an enormous amount of DMs just to like, girl, what's up? like checking up on me am i okay and i'm truly truly grateful for that because really i was down bad like i was down horrendous but anyways i'm back now that's what is important i was gone because i was not emotionally and mentally capable to be here and be bubbly and you know just speak my mind here with you guys because i was genuinely not okay so all of that happened last year 2021 uh so i decided to come back this year i didn't vlog or do anything in december because i was just down i was down down bad so i am back this year and happy new year guys i hope you guys uh obviously um yeah i hope you guys are feeling well you guys are ready to kickstart this year with a bang and i really hope that all our manifestations aspirations goals dreams you name it um come true this year and i hope we do not stop to dream big and believe in ourselves and you know all that jazz i have a new intro do you tell me how you feel about it? Should I go back to the old one? Well, I'm not going back to the old one. I thought it would be nice to have a new intro, new year, new intro, new outro, all of that. So, yeah, just let me know how you guys feel about it. And just comment down below which other videos you guys would like me to do this year. And I'm looking forward to creating more content, be, being consistent, and, you know, just being present here on youtube because last year i was doing my final year and i was down most of the time i was down horrendous so now i have more time and well i don't know what for now i still have time uh so i'm willing to do like a lot of videos and nice content aesthetically pleasing content for you guys so um so this year we are starting off with a, a video that i've always wanted to do i wanted to do it last year but you know everything that happened i was just like let me put it off and i will do it some other time so today's video is my most complimented fragrances so i have my zara perfume at uh, perfumes and my hugo boss um perfume so what I'm going to be doing here, I'm going to be reviewing these perfumes and just telling you how I feel about them and the price, um, what else? The price, um, how it smells, the notes, um, notes, I think I have my ingredients, <laughs> my ingredients that make uh, the perfume. Uh, so to so my notes. So that's what I'm going to be doing. Um, I'm trying to do it like a more aesthetically pleasing way. Uh, so I'm obviously going to show you guys the perfumes that I have. I'm going to I'm going to show you each perfume and like speak on speak about it and review it and rate it. And obviously I have here I have four perfumes and I'm going to rate them and tell you obviously which ones are my favorite they are all my favorites by the way uh it's just that there's that one you know you feel good see but when i'm wearing this one i feel like a bad bitch me bad bitchy i know who i am and in general, no one can tell me anything literally no one can tell me anything so that's what i have today and sorry guys if i keep looking in the monitor and not the lens still the camera is on so without wasting any time let's get into it so the first perfume i'm going to review 
obviously and it's probably my most complimented fragrance ever Mshabin is my most complimented fragrance ever and it was like my first it was my first Zara fragrance and my friend my lovely friend shout out to you girl you know who you are recommend recommended it to me uh recommended it for me and i went and got it and it smells divine one thing about zara fragrances they are uh, luxury brand dupes so this one apparently it is a dior dupe apparently Correct me if I'm wrong, but that's what people say. And I actually went on Pinterest and I checked Wuti E Dupian and it confirmed that it's E Dupier Dior. I'm not sure which Dior perfume, um, but I'm going to leave it on the screen. I'm going to leave all the details in the screen. I'll probably do like a uh, a picture and picture thing here on the side, and you guys can like read the details and yeah that's where i'm even going to put the notes as well i'm actually so worried guys i'm filming in the afternoon and the sunlight usually comes in so bright in here so if the lighting changes but it's still working mind you i'm just hoping it lasts until i finish so the first perfume obviously that i'm going to review is the zara garment edit this is my most complimented Zara fragrance, Imshabin. So it says that um, it has a little message there. being Susi Price. It has a little message right there, which is a cute message. It says, How can one live without the exquisite, the delicate, and the rare parts of deliciousness? And one thing about this fragrance, it's delicious. It's delicious. Like when you wear it, you'd want to eat yourself up because it's so good. It's so delicious. It's amazing. So it has the notes of peach, cassis, and patchouli. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it, how you pronounce it, but I think it's patchouli or patchouli or pe you know. I don't know child i don't know child but yeah this is the first one and this is how it looks this is how it looks this is how it looks and it's absolutely amazing so um yeah guys i'm really worried about this lighting but anyways uh this is the garment edict it was 2.99 Yes, it's 300. You most probably might find it in stores than online because the last time I checked it, it was um, out of stock since there was a sale on Zara, at Zara. So, yeah, I think it's cold now. I think I say it's cold, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure. But, guys, it smells divine. It smells so divine. It's it's giving it's giving when they man and it's giving j we are seven that it's giving j well bengi faga mostly say student <laughs> by the way i'm no longer a student guys i just thought i should let you guys know <laughs> but anyways bengi faga kulung say student and literally my housemates would go crazy they were like you smell amazing girl you smell amazing girl and I know, yeah, I smell amazing. Mele itombi inuge gashle. Itombi, I inuge gashle. So this was like my very first Zara uh, fragrance. So shame. Ngasang is born kusali ni itombi manje ni dala. You know, I didn't want itombi. Mele no ega mnandi. So I was like, you know what? Let me get myself a Zara fragrance. And one thing about Zara fragrances, they are more on the affordable side. So you will smell amazing at an affordable price. One thing they promise to do is to deliver quality at a at an affordable price. 
not really the clothes the clothes are quite ridiculously priced if you ask me but the perfumes shame very affordable and very long lasting this thing lasts that's how good it is that's literally how good it is it's amazing it's amazing and you can you see i got this last year but it's as in like it's like it's still very very <laughs> so that is the first perfume um from zara and it is my most complimented fragrance in shabin so the second one let me just put this back the second one is my absolute fave it's my favorite 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 perfume uh it's amazing it's amazing and it's quite on the expensive side it's very expensive and it was a gift so as this hugo boss uh let's just get this to focus um it's the hugo boss uh hugo boss the scent for her it's 100 mils the first one was 100 mils as well and it is absolutely absolutely amazing so at the back it says an irresistible seductive and luminous fragrance radiant notes of pink pepper and green mandarin bright orange blossom delicate freesia and dark cocoa and and dark cocoa yeah and dark cocoa yeah it is amazing it's very fruity one thing i noticed about my fragrances they're very fruity they are more on the fruity um summer like kind of fragrances like this this fragrance is more of a summer spring um fragrance because it's very fruity it's very it's very floral it's very it's like you're in a garden of flowers fruits everything on a sunny day it is amazing it is amazing i'm not sure if they are oil based or they are like i don't know water based i don't know but i'm still new in this fragrance thing but one thing i noticed about it it actually stains if like you spray it directly on your clothing so i think it is quite oil based so yeah i'm gonna look into that and just maybe put it in the screen so yeah it has its notes are radiant notes of pink pepper green mandarin bright orange blossom delicate freesia and dark cocoa it says it seduces the senses and it definitely does it's 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 amazing so this is the bottle this is the bottle and it is absolutely amazing i gave it to my mom one day like she was going to a funeral i think so i gave it to her wife father and she was like oh oh my god we complimenting her like there was no tomorrow and i was like girl that's that's what happens when you put this in this expenses you know you need to smell expenses you need to know who's in jail you are that girl so it is this fragrance it was a gift from my boyfriend i don't know if it's appropriate for me to like say the price Maybe I'll just show you guys the script. It's currently on sale, by the way. They take a lot. It's currently on sale. So you guys go check it out. And yeah, just put in the details and search it. You're probably guys going to find it on the site. But it's a more it's more of on the expensive side, like I said. I don't know. Maybe I should just say the price, but yeah, you guys, I'm just going to put it a we we screen because I'm not sure now we'll see if my lady but it's a bit on the expensive side and I absolutely 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 love this fragrance it's a beautiful it's a beautiful bottle it's very aesthetically pleasing but one thing I do not like about it is the cap it's kind of looking and as my mom is patching up or yens and jan, but 
it's not looking as rose gold as it was before so maybe they should look into that like with the packaging they should definitely fix that but i love this perfume guys it smells so good it smells so good it smells so it's it's very fruity very fruity and it's very summer giving vibe honey so um the next fragrance that i'm going to review is also from zara the last two fragrances are from zara and absolutely absolutely love them but guys before i get into these fragrances can you please admire how gorgeous how gorgeous how beautiful how Hey boo, guys, I'm not cute. I'm not even going to be mushy. I'm not even boo. Hey boo, hey boo. My parents were deep within their bag, Shem. They were deep within their bag, and I've had this nutless braids for so long, but okay, not too long, but I still look cute, child. Mushy, Shem, and fungus. But I just thought I should guy. I should just let you guys know that I'm mushy, I'm a baba, I'm a nisa, and I'm that girl. So next fragrance is uh, the Zara Zara Gardenia fragrance, and it is absolutely absolutely amazing. Apparently, this one is a dupe of a what's this fragrance of a Black Opium Yasu YSL, and it is it smells exactly like Black Opium. That's my thing. That's my chat. That's my beef. It smells exactly like black opium. Well, not as intense as a black opium. If we are as a black, a black opium, but it's definitely giving. It's definitely giving. I'm expensive, um, you know. And it's more also on the affordable side because, like I said, fragrances from Zara are very, very affordable. They are the girl they are absolutely the girl they think they are so yeah let me spray it <sighs> guys it's it's giving man it's giving oh not me staining myself it's giving man it's giving i'm expensive it's giving everything it's supposed to give uh this one was also a gift as well you guys saw when i was doing that unboxing gift unboxing thing and this one says um first of all it says it's a limited edition child i don't know how is it a limited edition but it says it's a limited edition child so it says splashes of a vibrant force genuine and confident literally when you put this fragrance you are confident you are absolutely j we girl man like like we we mama we man when you put this thing so it has notes of orange blossom coffee and vanilla which i noticed that it also almost has the same notes as this one and it kind of has that feel when you smell it it feels like a gardenia but a gardenia that is more fruity this one has a lot of vanilla and this one doesn't have vanilla but it has orange blossom and cocoa this one has orange blossom and coffee so maunga nagile you think i'm still wearing the same perfume but this one is more intense it's very it's more expensive obviously so it smells more intense than this one so that's what that's the comparison i just wanted to do for a minute there so this one guys it's it's very special to me because obviously it was a gift and i haven't wore it gakulu because i'm always wearing wearing a gardenia one thing about me i'm obsessed with the gardenia so i haven't wore it gakulu it's still it's not say it's not really guys it's not really being if i get a cool when i went to durban and absolutely absolutely love it it's more on the fruity side obviously vanilla it's more fruity it's more florals more out it's very outdoor picnic vibe kind of fragrances the kind of fragrance you can wear to brunch kind of fragrance you can wear to um a breakfast dinner because it's not intense it's not too sweet it's not it's not gonna make you want to puke after eating too much or after drinking too much 
the vanilla is very present but it's very subtle at the same time so that's what i love about it as much as i hate vanilla gakulu in 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 in, in fragrances so if you guys know the rose garment from um, zara it's more on the more vanilla side and the vanilla corner because i wanted to buy it and i ended up not buying it because when i smelled it eh, eh, zara i was like no that is too sweet for me it's too overwhelming it's too intense the vanilla is too intense so yeah so that's what i like about it that's what i like about it it's very it's very fruity very subtle but very present so that's what i love about it it's absolutely amazing so on to the next one which is the last one i know this video is very i'm gonna i don't know i don't know if it's short or it's what but um I'm I, I want to do this video i wanted to do this video because it's been a while saying i'm going to do i'm going to do it i also wanted to do like um avon fragrances but i thought maybe i could make that as another video and compare it to the zara fragrances so maybe that could be another video sometime during sometime this year so yeah the next um fragrance which is the last one it's my recent patches from zara which is the um, red temptation red temptation perfume if uh the boxy looks a bit uh, because i went to durban recently and bingi bagi shile in its box and the boxy la pachaga so tense uh but it's not a trans mesh way to and i kept the box because i knew i was going to do this video so yeah so this one doesn't really have oh it does it does it does it says it's a it's an edp mostly i'm a edp and edt okay i'm a edt i'm a edt it's um it's ear the toilet <laughs> i'm a edt are more of less of um like they do not last gakulu so one thing i like about this one and this one they are edps and they lost they lost i'm not sure what he a comment in yes it's an edt but surprisingly it lost very much it lasts so much and usually i'm an edt do not last kakulu funa we fafas and we fafas so this one is an edp and it says sensuality comes to life as a bright jasmine bouquet with an irresistible fruity touch and it's an 80 mils 80 mils and from zara obviously and if you guys if you all are on instagram a lot of influencers have been plugging us with this perfume because first of all it's a it's a dupe of e baccarat 540d yeah baccarat 540d and it is amazing i think this is one of the most intense fragrances that says zara i feel like this one is more on a is more of a winter scent more than a summer scent because it has that woodiness but the woodiness is not really as present as the jasmine it's very it's very intense to me so i feel like it's more like a date night fragrance like the fragrance you put at night or a winter kind of fragrance and this is how the bottle looks and i bought it nini i bought it December, I think it was December, so I haven't really used it much, but it's intense. It's intense, guys. It's amazing. It's amazing. The body is very nice, which is quite different from like the normal Zara fragrances that we're all used to. I really, really love this. Um, it's giving like Nati. It's a it's a body spray kind of vibe, but it's very cute. I feel like maybe they should have made the bottle like a frosted kind of bottle glass glass bottle if that makes sense but i absolutely absolutely love it it's very it's very intense guys it's it's very 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 intense and i absolutely absolutely love it for 80 mils it looks quite big for 80 mil but i think it's the illusion of the 
packaging yeah i think it's the illusion of the packaging because it looks very big but the juice is not the juice is not that much because it's an 80 ml and e bottle it's an illusion it's a lot to drink but they were really smart about that right and this one is more on the expensive side of zara of zara fragrances it was 419 i'm going to leave all the details here guys so don't worry i'm just going to uh, display everything here on the side so that you guys can see so that it can be easy for you guys to like see and go and purchase some of those fragrances and one thing about this one it sells out quickly like every time it comes back in stock you have to run for your life to go and get it guys it's amazing like so because those fragrances honey they are giving everything they're supposed to give and this is one zara fragrance i would truly truly recommend because guys who doesn't want to smell amazing who doesn't want to smell amazing who doesn't want to smell expensive it really smells expensive shame and if you know it a 540 it is very nice and it is also available at take a lot but the one available at take a lot is not the real one but you could obviously get away with saying it's the real one but someone who knows i'm a perfumer could tell would say, mm, it's not the real one so zara said you know what babies i'm gonna make a dupe for you guys so you guys don't have to worry about going to buy the most expensive fragrance we're just going to deliver and they delivered shem it's amazing it's truly amazing shame it's amazing it's amazing i absolutely love it so thank you guys for tuning in thank you thank you so much please do engage on the comment section down below let me know what videos you guys would like me to do this year you know just just engage and i missed you guys so i really 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 like to interact with you guys and yeah please share share to your friends share to your families we are on a road to 1.5k so let's get there before roughly let's say april because i'm also going to be putting a lot of work into this youtube thing and i'd like you guys to support me as you guys have supported me and let's carry on to be this loving warm family that we are and i hope you guys but i hope you guys are okay and i hope Anje, this year has a lot in store for us and has a lot in store for us as youtubers and subscribers you know the relationship will grow and grow as we continue uh delivering content and you guys engaging with us obviously and please be kind to youtubers guys the learning are be rude and you know and all of that where my comment section it really really does discourage us so please be kind and be loving to one another and yeah thank you so much for tuning in guys i love you all i love you so much Mwah.